creator of all the earth, the heavens and the earth. He's the true God, the supreme God. Creator and, okay, okay. what else? I want a complete definition which is comprehensive. Go on. Creator. He's all knowing. Did the Father create the world? Okay, let's see. Is the Father God? You said yes earlier. Did he create? Yes, he created. What did the Father create? The heavens and the earth. And what did Jesus, the Son, create? Jesus has got his power from God. Jesus what did the said, Son create? Of myself, I can do nothing. What did the Son create? Jesus didn't create anything. So he's not God then? By your no, definition, no, Jesus God is not God. Supreme being. No, you did, I didn't Nobody ask you about Supreme saying, Being. He's the Supreme Being. I am talking about the true God. Is Jesus so a true? So is I. Jesus the true God? Jesus is, uh, has been well, uh, given dead? power and authority by the <laughs> Almighty God. So what's your point? Let's ask the question again. Is Jesus the true? Is what I believe? Is I'm trying to tell you. You have a really hearing problem. I was telling the people here that this is a Unitarian Christian, and this guy didn't even listen. Right. I spoke to you before, and I spoke to this lady before. I know you're Unitarian Christians. So let me ask you again: Is Jesus the true God? No, he Jesus is no. not the true God. I mean, so he's there's not God. Only one. Right. So although there be wait, gods, wait, wait, many wait, wait, lords, many, but wait, to us there is relax. one God the Father relax. and one Lord. Relax. This same Jesus which you have crucified, God hath raised up and relax. made him both Lord Why and Christ. Why are you Christ. preaching? Let's have a conversation. So if no, you are not, you don't the, like the word of God. If you are not, the word of God exposes you. If you are not, if you don't like the word of God. My, what's your name, anyhow? If you're not the true God, my name is Paul. If you are not the true you God, have courtesy to introduce yourself to me. You forgotten my name already. My name is Paul. What's your name? You forgotten my name already. Yeah. Right. Let me remind my name to you. My, my name, name is Mansoor. Mansoor. Yeah. Right. So my question right. to you is this: simple. If you, if someone is not the true God, are they a false god? No. Uh, if they're not the. No. So if you someone the Jesus, is I not the true God, Jesus is not the are creator. they not the false gods? Jesus has delegated authority. You're not answering my question. Paul, teaches that. You're looking, you're, you're, Paul, you expect Jesus Paul, to come back and rule the earth. So what's your problem? If, but why? The question is, why did God raise Jesus up? Because Jesus Christ was obedient unto the death of the cross. Therefore, God has raised him up and given him a name which every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. You think God would raise up just any... Any man? No. Jesus was a special man. He made atonement for the sins of the world. Are you done? Yes, he did. Are you done? <laughs> Good. <laughs> My turn. So the question I'm asking is, if someone is not, if someone is not the true God, aren't they false gods? Yeah. It depends on the definition of God. No, true God. God and Lord. True God. If someone is not the true God, Jesus is not the Creator. Listen, God. listen, Get listen. That clear? I don't Paul, that Jesus was Paul, the creator Paul, God. Paul. That doesn't when, make him an object of worship. When you are speaking, God commands us I to gave the, the opportunity so to speak honor, without I interrupting. Paul, learn some manners. When you spoke, I tried to remain silent so I can make your point. So I am going to ask you now. The question I'm asking is is something very specific. Hear the question. Clean your waxes in your ears if you have some. But the question is this. If you are, if anyone, if they are not the true God, doesn't it follow they are false gods? It depends on what you mean by the true God. We've already explained Jesus the true is God. A true God. Listen, but listen. He's not the B, the B God. Listen, There's listen. only one, one God. Wait. Even, even What's Jesus? the difference between a true God and the true God? I will, I will answer that by a scripture. Hold, it, hold this. I will answer that by a scripture, but I'm, this is going to be dangerous for a lot of you people. It's going to be dangerous. It might set you free. I warned you. The scripture might capture you. Listen to this. Do you have the patience? Let's see. Hold that. He's answering. Hear this scripture here. Every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, after that, they that are Christ at his coming. Then cometh the end, when he, Jesus, shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. 
for he must reign, Jesus, till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death, for he hath put, God the Father hath put all enemies under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifested that he is accepted, which did put all things under him. In other words, the, the word here, God is exclusive. God is not under the feet of Jesus. That's what the apostle is saying here. All right, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, unto the Son, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him, unto God the Father, that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. The God, the creator of the human, human uh, universe is a jealous God. He's not going to have anybody, uh, there comes a point in time, in other words, when even the Son of God, Jesus, will lay down his authority at the feet of Jesus, at the feet of God Almighty. There's only one supreme God. There's Allah, okay? Get that through your heads. There's only one supreme Allah, God the Father, the Creator. For the time being, because Jesus was obedient even unto the death of the cross, God has given this Jesus delegated authority. But that's temporary. According to the words of the Apostle Paul, a chosen vessel unto God. What was my question? So you're even answering? Jesus. So even Jesus stop, 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 has delegated Paul, authority. Paul, Get that through your head. Paul, the power and authority that Jesus has is is temporary. Um, Paul, what was my question? You're answering. All enemies are at the at the feet of Jesus. What was my question? You're answering, Paul. At the feet of Almighty God, that God the Father, because He's a jealous God. God alone is Creator God. I'm here. I'm Nobody here. greater than Him. Paul, Not I'm, even Jesus. I'm here. I'm here. Hallelujah. What was the question I asked you? So get that. Put that in your. Put that what in your was computer. the question that I asked you, Paul? Put that, in, that you were answering. Put that in your computer up here Don't and process touch. that. Don't touch. Okay. What was the question I was asking you to answer? You were asking me the difference between God and the Father, Jesus. Uh, God and the Father. God creator, the father. Try again. That wasn't the question. That was the question. No, That's that, what you are confused about. No, that wasn't the question. Try again. What was so the question I, I answered? I, I, the word of God. What was I, the question I, I asked you? Will you tell me? No, I asked you and you were no, answering. you asked me quite a few questions. No, the, the question I asked you to answer, which you said, oh, it's going to open up you and going to free you. What was the question I asked you? Paul, you spent few minutes answering the question that you didn't even know what it was. Would you like to open your... Wait, what you was the question I asked ask you? A question now. Wait, you wait, in God? wait a second, Paul. Let me ask Don't you wiggle away from the conversation. Do you believe in God? Hey, Paul, the question Do I asked you... Do you believe in God? Do you want to know the answer? Yes. Okay, hold on your thoughts. Let's return to the question I asked you. He asked let's, me a question. Do we believe, believe in God? God if you believe Paul, there's a supreme being, let's Paul, lift up our voice Paul, and praise him. Paul. Together. Paul. Relax. Can but you do that? Relax, Paul. Yeah, try to have. He's present. Try, His presence is try, in living in my heart. Try to have a conversation. Hallelujah. At the age of 19, I was, I was converted. I was Paul. changed. I started living unto God. Excuse me, Paul. Praise His name. He gave me this dear wife. Hallelujah. Brother, one second. Now, the question that I asked you was, the question I asked you was, what's the difference between a true God and the true God? And you answered. What you quoted from the scripture does not answer the question. And I'm sure people who are uploading this, listen, the people, listen to me carefully. I want you to focus, pay attention, Paul. The question I asked you is, what is the difference between a true God and the true God? Okay, and wait, 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 wait. I don't want you to speak. A true God, I'll just say it. No, I the am true God, speaking, a true Paul. God is inferior, Be civilized. Inferior to the Be true God. civilized and listen, have some manners. Right? Have some manners. So when you when you answered my question that you asked with all this biblical passage quoting, this did not answer the question at all. People who are going to watch this stream later, they would know that you were number one waffler. Instead of answering a question which was so specific, what is the difference between a true God and the true God? Okay, now he can answer. Oh, now he can now, answer now. after all this waffling? Okay, I'll what give you the chance. the chance. You know what? I'll be kind to you. Now, what is the answer to the question? 